this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's Wonderful World! <laughs> I always start Terraria videos out of breath from after doing my big intro. <laughs> anyway, this is another episode in my wonderful world. As you can see, I am still dressed as a non-specific ninja turtle. <laughs> I love all of the, uh, the references to TV shows and other games and stuff in this. It's really cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, the plan for today is to battle a boss and I was uh, originally uh, planning to battle the twins but I don't actually uh, have all of the items I need to spawn uh, the twins in and I couldn't be bothered to get them so <laughs> instead we're gonna go and battle a uh, Skeletron Prime because I uh, have a, a mechanical skull here and uh, so yeah I thought that I would uh, go and give uh, him another go I think that he's probably slightly harder than the twins but I'm feeling confident I'm feeling okay because I got my new mushroom spear in the last episode uh, we improved the uh, the battle arena so hopefully I'm gonna give be uh, healed more and I've also uh, reforged my mushroom spear uh, so it's now even stronger I wasted all my money and it now does 91 melee damage and I think originally it did like 79 so hopefully uh, all of these things combined uh, is going to be enough to battle Skeletron Prime and as you can see uh, the sun is setting uh, and so as soon as it's night time we can spawn him in and uh, have a battle uh, the merchant also just arrived as well and seems to be stuck between the uh, the doghouse and the uh, <laughs> and the, uh, the snowman here but let's speak to him uh, I don't really have much money so hopefully he doesn't have any think good because I probably can't afford it. Uh, oh, there's the extendo grip. I wanted to buy the extendo grip, didn't I? But I didn't have enough money, but it looks like I still can't get that. I've already got some fancy dishes, bricklayer. So there are some things I probably would get, but I don't have any money. Look, literally, I have no money in my piggy bank, and right now on me, I have... 86 silver coins and 59 uh, copper coins. So I am not over exaggerating uh, when I say I have pretty much no money. <laughs> All right, then let's go to the uh, the arena. And I did make uh, a few small changes uh, since the uh, the last episode. Um, uh, basically, the uh, the lanterns, uh, which were like kind of hovering like this one still is, I've now put underneath. And uh, I'm really hoping that they uh, they do do a, a good job uh, of healing me up. Uh, all of this here is still the, the same. So I'm hoping that's going to make the, the biggest difference. Uh, but also the uh, the mushroom spear. Uh, I don't like the uh, the mushroom spear uh, for taking out the, the smaller enemies. Just because it's really hard to hit them. Uh, but Skeleton Prime, is uh, he's pretty big. <laughs> so I shouldn't have, uh, have too much trouble uh, being able to take him out. I've got a few potions as well. Mainly like uh, shine potions and night owl potions. I don't need them as much now because I got all of these uh, campfires all over the place. Uh, but they should still help me see. And then, of course, some of my good old-fashioned favorite iron skin potions, because uh, they give you uh, plus eight defense, and uh, I'm already on 52 defense. So uh, all things combined, I should be a, a pretty tough turtle <laughs> to go and uh, try and take out Skeletron Prime. So uh, I literally now... I uh, just need to, to go and wait uh, for it to be considered nighttime. I don't know what time is properly considered nighttime, uh, but you can only spawn it in at nighttime. And the way it works is that once it's day, uh, Skeletron Prime um, goes. He's gone, uh, just like the other uh, merchant has as well. So I need to make sure that not only do I survive and defeat him, I need to do it within the time frame of one night, which isn't actually uh, the longest amount of time either. Um, also, uh, I need to make sure I don't die, uh, because even though I have my respawn point right about here, um, is this a slime? Okay, that, that isn't a bunny. It looks like a bunny, but it's not. It's a slime pretending to be a bunny. <laughs> yes, even though I got my little house here, uh, even if I respawn here, uh, it doesn't matter because if I die, then it's kind of game over anyway. So I don't know. Is this night time? Like, I can see stars, but then the sun is still just there as well. Um, I don't want to waste it. I've only got one mechanical skull, so I'm going to wait just a, a second longer, uh, take out some of these slime bunnies, and uh, then we can go and spawn it in. So I guess the first thing I'll do is uh, I'll drink these potions. These don't really matter too much. I should have probably made more potions, but once again, couldn't be bored. <laughs> uh, so I got my vitamins as well. Oh, I don't think I can eat the vitamins. I think I just need to, to uh, wear them or, like, put them in my pocket. So I'm not going to worry about that. Instead, I'm just going to go and get the, the mechanical skull. I'm going to have my iron skin potion, and here we go. Nope, it won't let me use it. Oh, it just literally doesn't let you use it. I was worried that it would let me use it, but not spawn him in. So I can literally wait here, uh, pressing right trigger, and then I can use the uh, the mechanical skull at the very second uh, when it becomes a uh, knight properly. Uh, so I am probably wasting a little bit of my iron skin potion here and the, the other potions. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I have a, another iron skin potion, and that's the one that really matters. And right, here he is. So first things first, let's go and get these uh, Nimbus clouds going down. Uh, so basically, whenever he goes under them, he's going to be getting hurt. And uh, let's use the uh, the old mushroom spear then, seeing as that's the, uh, the newest thing I have. Uh, let's see whether this is going to be 
good enough to, to make a difference. So as much as I can, I want to lure him to, to where the, the rain's falling because uh, that is going to be continually hurting all of his limbs. And then the, the first thing I'm going to want to do uh, is take out his arms because they are the things uh, with all of the, the dangerous weapons on. But uh, it doesn't matter about taking them out as much uh, as taking out the, the head. Uh, but it just means that I'm not going to be getting hurt too much. So I can also uh, try and hover around the uh, the campfires and the uh, the heart lanterns as well. And oh look, I do seem to be doing a pretty decent uh, amount of damage. Let's go up here and uh, let's spawn in a, a few more of these Nimbus clouds uh, as high up as I can. And I go also go and use the uh, the cursed flames a bit because I've not used them very much. I can kind of just leave them bouncing all over the place until I've run out of magic. And uh, then I can go back to, to using the, um, the mushroom spear. And look at my health! Look, I've got full health. I've been battling for, you know, a few seconds now. Well, at least a minute. <laughs> and I've still got full health. Normally, I'd have been struggling. I'd have been having my healing potions already. Uh, but so far, things seem to be do uh, going pretty well. And I don't want to jinx it, but uh, this is uh, at least uh, a good sign. And look, as soon as I run past this area again, uh, because of all of the, the lanterns and stuff, uh, my health just goes straight back up again. I'm feeling a lot more confident. I think the, the main challenge then isn't going to be necessarily staying alive. It's going to be making sure uh, that I'm able to defeat him uh, quick enough because uh, even though I'm not getting too hurt he's not getting all that much hurt either and remember I have the the time limit uh, of uh, basically night time uh, in order to defeat him and it's kind of hard to judge uh, how well the mushroom spear's doing the good thing is is because it's so long uh, you can kind of push through his arms and I can get like multiple uh, multiple hits uh, rather than just one uh, which I would normally uh, do using the the beam sword you hear like every little ting every time it goes ting 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 that is basically uh, another hit so and uh, remember each hit is a 91 damage I think it was so I think it's got to be doing a lot of damage you can't really tell uh, because he's got so much health but I just feel like it has to be doing a lot of damage and look every time I just keep running past here my, my health just goes straight back up again this is amazing all right let's run down here a bit and then let's go and put cursed flames everywhere because then that way uh, they're going to be bouncing around this uh, entire room and just hopefully uh, hurting him uh, a whole bunch. And then I'm going to back off again, uh, back to here and get my health up. I don't even need to. I still have full health. This method is working absolutely amazingly. I can kind of just stand here and keep wailing on him. And then as soon as I get hurt, I just back off for a second, uh, come back here. And look, even when I'm not picking up the actual hearts, just the, the lanterns and the bonfires are making a huge difference. And then I run over here and look, my health is pretty much fully back up again. This is amazing. I suddenly have a proper confidence uh, that I might be able to take out the, the other bosses because as I mentioned the, the twins is probably the, the easiest one but the good thing is is once you've taken out a few of them you get all of the items from them, them and then you can use them to battle the next boss so I can get a, a bunch of materials from Skeleton Prime if I do defeat it and then I can use that to battle all of the other bosses but I am getting a little bit worried because the moon is getting quite high in the, the sky here and I think I've probably been running a little bit too much seeing as uh, my health goes up a, a bit more quicker now I guess I should probably be a little bit braver and kind of just run in a little bit more and not be so worried about being hurt and instead be more worried about trying to do enough damage. So this saw is really hurting but if I kind of stay just out of its range I was there able to do some amazing damage uh, against the uh, the saw then and uh, my magic's fully up. Right, so let's go and use the uh, the cursed flames. It looks like my Nimbus clouds are still doing their job and raining down uh, all of the, the deadly water. <laughs> it's funny that I'm kind of uh, tackling this giant evil boss with some water and uh, you can see the moon now. It's probably like the middle of the, the night and I've done some good damage against pretty much all of the, the limbs but the head is hardly hurt. So uh, let's just go and try and get the, the rest of these limbs out the other way and uh, then I will uh, need to worry about getting hurt even less and then let's go properly in uh, to go and try and finish them off. And there we go. There's the drill down. The drill is down. I think that's the, the first one I've been able to, to take out. But I think the uh, the Nimbus clouds uh, have run out. So I want to do them uh, just as high as I can. Uh, so then that way, even if he goes up really high, he's still going to, to be getting hurt. And there we go. Can I get rid of the, the vice? There we go. The vice is down as well. That's two down. There's still the uh, the cannon and then the, the laser left to go then. So let's try and uh, lure him down and get him a little bit closer. And I can hurt his head at the, the same time. When his head's spinning, uh, he doesn't get damaged as much. So I mainly uh, want to hurt him when his head's not spinning. And not to mention the fact I kind of want to be avoiding the head when it's spinning. So let's stand here. And there we go. Look at that. That was some amazing damage there. This is kind of a really nice range where I can do damage, but he's not doing much damage against me. And the, the cannon shots, it's best to go uh, around this area to avoid them, because they only hurt you uh, when they hit an actual platform. Uh, but it doesn't count uh, when it's these kind of platforms you go through. It has to be like a, a proper brick, sorry, not a, a platform. So I'm getting a little bit more hurt now. So just to be safe, uh, let's go and run back here. 
and uh, try and grab all of this uh, this health. Adding in the the extra wires and the the pressure plates uh, to make those hearts come in quicker uh, is really making a, a big da uh, difference as well. So let's go and uh, spawn in a, a bit more of the uh, the rainfall uh, around this area, and then let's go and try and really work on just taking out those final two limbs. I might use these light discs for now until they're gone. And something just dropped down. I think was that the uh, oh that was the the cannon. The cannon's down as well. We're down to just the laser and then main skeleton prime himself. But look, time is ticking away. I really need to get a move on now. I am gonna have to get more and more daring uh, when trying to battle. And also, I can have my uh, my iron skin potion as well. I realized uh, that the other one had uh, run out. And so this is going to give me even more damage. Uh, not uh, damage, but even more defense, sorry. Uh, so then that way I can uh, take more damage. Uh, so let's try and just stand still a little bit and try and do some damage like this. If I keep it just out of range and keep hitting it, even though I'm getting hit by the, the lasers, I wasn't getting hit by the, the head. And I think that is the thing that is going to be mainly doing the, the most damage. And so when he goes really high up, I might start using the uh, the cursed flame a bit more. When uh, my mushroom spear is out of range, I can start using this instead. And there we go. That is some good damage. And oh, I think the laser's gone. I think the laser's down. It's just me against the head. Turtle against the giant mechanical head. And look how much damage I've done. But it's definitely getting to the end of the night now. You can see the moon is gradually starting to go down. I really need to go into an all-out offensive. But the problem is, is it just keeps running away from me. I keep doing as much damage as I can, but it keeps just backing off. Let's try and just stand still and just make sure it attacks me. Because it doesn't have any ranged attacks, I guess it has to come in close. There we go. So it's coming in close. I want to keep it just out of range so it doesn't hurt me too much, but try and finish it off. I am getting really hurt here, but look how much damage I'm doing. But oh no, look at the moon. Look at the moon. It's nearly the morning. Right, let's go and use the other uh, cursed flames again. And if I fire them all straight up, they're going to be bouncing down all over the place. And here it comes. Here it comes. Look how damaged it is. Just a few more hits, but I need to be really fast. I don't want it to fly off. And I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it, I defeated Skeletron Prime! <laughs> I really did not think I was going to be able to do it then, but I was. <gasps> Those bonfires and the healing lamps. And oh no, there's a zombie! Oh. <laughs> ah, no problem. I did it! I defeated a hard mode boss. Are you proud of me? I know you probably defeated that boss years ago and it was easy for you, but I am proud of myself. <laughs> and now I can't even kill one little raven. There we go. Right, let's go back home then and uh, let's see all of the uh, the goodies I got then, shall we? That was amazing. I am so excited right now. <laughs> if you can see my face, it has a massive grin on it. Right then, let's go and uh, look through my items and uh, let's see what I got then. So probably the, the most important thing are these hollowed bars uh, because I can use them uh, in order to um, uh, to make hollowed armor and I think I can use them to make more light discs as well and these light discs are awesome so if I can make two more of them that would be great and then I also uh, got the souls of fright and these are used uh, to craft a bunch of really powerful things there's some uh, items that can be made with the uh, the souls uh, that you get from all of the uh, the different bosses so if I get more of them and that could be uh, really cool but for now uh, let's go and try and make some things with the uh, the hollowed bars then shall we I think with just the the hollowed bars, I can make some more armor. So at the moment, I got the uh, the Andermanite armor, uh, but I'm going to upgrade that uh, to hopefully some hollowed armor. So let me see uh, exactly what it is uh, you need to to make it, because I know there's I think there's a few different versions. Like some are good for like better defense, and some are good for more range damage and stuff. I think uh, where do I make it though? I thought it would be around here. So there, uh, this is mainly the the cloak. So here we go. Here are the the greaves. Here uh, is there anything about the the hollowed greaves? There we go. I need to go by the uh, this anvil here, and I should be able to make it. There we go. I can make the uh, the hollowed greaves here. Uh, but do I want to make the greaves, or could I make the the chainmail? Oh, look at that! Shall I do it? Shall I do it? So it says fifteen defense. What do I have at the the moment? I have four. It's only one different. <laughs> It's only one difference. It might make a big difference, though, in the, the long run. And I think it will probably make sense. And you know what? I'm feeling a little bit tougher anyway. It might be worth it. Oh, but there is the, the helmet as well. That's 24 defense. What's my current one? Uh, my current one's 22. That might be more of a, an upgrade, actually, then. Tell you what, let's go and uh, let's make the uh, the hollowed mask. Actually, is there a helmet as well? Oh, yeah, because there's the hat as well, which is only uh, five defense, but it has a bunch of other bonus things. I want to make sure I'd use the, the thing that is going to give me most defense, and I do think that is the mask. But actually, is there a helmet as well, though? Because there's the hat, and then there's the, the hood as well. I'm really careful here. I don't want to accidentally make the wrong thing because otherwise I'm going to really regret it. So there's just the hat and then there's the mask, but there doesn't seem to be a helmet as well. Uh, so I guess, yeah, I'm going to go for the, the mask then. And there we go. I've done it. No takey backsies. <laughs> I have gone and now made this, uh, which is going to give me uh, some nice extra defense. And tell you what, let's go and uh, take off this silly costume as well. And then that way I can admire my beautiful armor at the, the moment. Um, there we go. <laughs> it doesn't match particularly well, but uh, eventually, uh, hopefully everything is going to be this uh, special hollowed armor. And then the, uh, the bosses are going to get easier and easier. So what I want to do now is I want to see uh, whether I can go and uh, make any of those um, 
any of those light discs. I made those other ones ages before, and uh, you can make up to... Oh, I can make more weapons as well. Nope, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. <laughs> uh, yeah, because... Uh, oh, no, I can make this as well. No, no, don't stop looking at that stuff. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I made them ages ago, and you can have up to five of them that you can throw at a time, and I have three of them. Uh, so if I get two more, that means that I could throw five out at the, the same time, uh, which would make them a lot more powerful. But where are they? I can't remember uh, where I made them. I remember I needed a few things. Oh, here we go. So I need... um. Uh, four of the hollowed bars. That's what I remembered. I need three souls of light and five souls of might. So let's see which souls uh, I have uh, and let's see if I would be able to, to make it. So uh, is this the might? There we go. So I got the, the souls of might, but I don't have enough souls of light. But souls of light aren't too hard to get. And actually, I think I do need uh, the, uh, the souls of... Um, uh, the souls of a uh, light anyway uh, because I want to make that in order to spawn in the uh, the twins and uh, the way you get them from uh, is just underground in the the hollow so let's go straight away down there and uh, see if I'm going to be able to to get any because they're not too hard to get uh, there's a chance that I might be able to to get a few of them and uh, we're also uh, still technically within the uh, the Halloween update as well which means uh, that killing googlies is just going to be jolly good anyway because uh, it gives me a chance of getting some goodie bags so I kind of just need to go uh, underground anywhere in this area and uh, yeah I got a chance of getting them I don't know uh, where it's considered being under underground i know you need to be relatively deep so we're going to go and uh, take out the the pixies and uh, keep going deeper and deeper and then once i have the the souls of light and i've made the uh, the discs i think i'm going to go hard mode boss battling crazy and i'm going to go up against uh, as many of the other uh, hard mode bosses uh, as i can so uh, let's just go and uh, keep trying to dig down as much as i can do i have my tools on me there we go i kind of got rid of all of my pickaxe and stuff with either fight uh, just because i knew i wouldn't need it i also want to uh, put on my uh, my shine helmet maybe as well just so i can see what i'm doing <laughs> I realize I did just make a, a fancy new helmet. No, it's okay. I'm not going to have my shine helmet. I am going to go and keep wearing uh, my special brand new and more powerful helmet. Even though it's only two difference defense, that can actually make a, a big difference uh, between life or death. Because it means that every single time that something hits you, uh, it's doing less damage than it would. And oh, how did that goldfish get down here? <laughs> Oh no, we got killed by the, uh, the little pixie. <laughs> Poor little goldfish. To be fair, it was kind of um, a little bit out of its comfort zone anyway. So I think this here uh, definitely has to be the uh, underground hollow. And oh look, there's a mushroom area down here as well. Uh, this is pretty cool. Let's go and uh, take out this uh, illuminated bat here. And there's also some of these skeletons. So I think basically any enemy... Uh, that I that I kill while I'm down here uh, has a chance to, to drop a, a soul of light and I think to make the the light disc I needed five didn't I and I only had one so I think it's uh, oh I wasn't even looking at my health <laughs> I didn't even look oh no how much gold did I have actually oh have I lost loads of gold now uh, I still have six on me I don't know how much gold I lost then let's um let's put this in the uh, the piggy bank shall we seen as it's the uh, the only gold I have to my name <laughs> but it doesn't matter I was able to, to keep everything else that I got so I'm gonna go and look a little bit more into the uh, the souls of fright and to see if there's anything else cool I can make out of them now and oh I did get one soul of light at least uh, at least and then in the next episode I can go and try and get some more souls of light so I can make the the light discs and uh, then eventually uh, go and uh, try and battle and hopefully defeat the the twins uh, but sadly that's the end of this episode here hopefully you enjoyed watching this exciting battle and will join me in the next episode but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later bye